we always speak well of cruises. But recently, the two companies that came to Brazil this season drastically lowered the quality of services. We've already made a video of the coast and now it's MSC's turn, which had a good service, which met most of the sailors' needs. But since the health crisis that devastated the country, the service has deteriorated, and a lot. A lot of delay in the execution of services and attendance by employees and waiters, who complain of tiredness for the guests. The organization of all procedures, from boarding to disembarking, works with delays and disorganization. Delays of more than four hours in boarding and messy arrivals may occur. Another not very nice thing on the most recent cruise with them was a delay of almost two hours in disembarking at all stops, Montevideo, Punta del Este and Buenos Aires, which limited the tour in these places. On our first cruise with them in 2011, this did not happen. About entertainment, on the ship MSC Poja, there were few activities and the animation team was weak and there was little communication with guests by the ship's management. Most attractions were all concentrated in the pool and the place was always crowded, while the halls and internal spaces were almost empty and some without any attraction. Guests fought for places on chairs and loungers. It was bizarre to see. The service at the bars was slow, as it was crowded and the drinks were of low quality. On the MSC Orchestra, in 2011, bar service was slow, but the animation team was very good and there were numerous activities. But nowadays everything got worse. Both ships have a games room and a mini golf course, but it is necessary to ask the animation team for the games or clubs and balls. The result is that no one played anything in those places, either on orchestra or poja. In terms of food, there are complaints and reports on the internet of the low quality of the food, lack of replacement of items, crockery, coffee, dirty and poorly washed crockery and utensils. The desserts on the buffet, compared to other companies, left something to be desired. The service was as good as every cruise line we've traveled with. At least twice a day, the cabins were cleaned and everything you needed was enough to ask the steward over the intercom and it would be attended to. Currently the cabins are poorly cleaned, sheets are not changed, amenities are not replaced, there is a lack of shampoo, soap and some requests are simply not met. When making a hotel order over the intercom, it took a long time. MSC has always been popular with thousands of Brazilians and for decades had offered cruises with a variety of ships. Some old ships, as in the case of the ones we sail, Orchestra and Poja, which need a revitalization, compared to ships of other companies, of the same year, which are now super modern. In contrast, in recent seasons MSC has been bringing new and modern ships to the delight of fans. However, the service has dropped too much in terms of quality and service. Even the Yacht Club and Elite MSC service has negative reports for the poor quality of service and food. Taking a look at the internet, the most common complaints from cruise passengers are Lack of coffee, cup and cutlery replacement Cutlery and dirty crockery Food items missing Delay in boarding of up to 4 hours Delay in disembarkation Bad service and arrogance on the part of employees Dirty tables Cues and service delay in bars No place to sit by the pool Low quality drinks Low quality of food Hot beer Overcrowded In customer support, they hang up Employees complaining about overwork and tiredness Lack of cleaning Superiors humiliating employees in front of guests External areas with garbage and swimming pool with food waste Lack of seats in restaurants due to overcrowding Depending on the cruiser's profile, he might like the MSC. We have seen many people say that they liked the other companies that sailed here more, such as Royal Caribbean, the extinct Pullmanter, and Costa Cruises. 
Of course, everyone has their own taste, which must be respected. And also the experience can vary from ship to ship as the service can also change with that. So much so that we have seen many people prefer MSC to any other that has sailed here and are card-carrying fans of the company. We do not know today if the opinion of these customers will remain the same. If the cruise companies that do cabotage here in Brazil continue to offer a service below expectations, it may be that the future of cruises and companies here may fall into disrepute.